And then I sent out some kind of message to the newsletter or something. I said, he's going to have all kind of tricks up his sleeve. So he said, you really put me on the spot. So he's on the spot. And at the end of his presentation, we're going to have a little yeah, We're going to have a little talk. A surprise. Because as you see, I brought all these boxes Did everybody with me. get a ticket? Yeah. Everybody Did everybody get a ticket? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, when this is all said and done, two of these boxes are going to be one of yours. Uh, 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 for the novice painter uh, and who has that foreseen time to figure out, I've got a ship of painting. I don't know how I'm going to do it. You have questions. And being involved with the uh, traveling exhibition, for as many years as I have, delivering paintings from across the state, uh, we've opened up boxes that are just unbelievable. Uh, because when their uh, paintings are packed, you have to remember they have to be repacked and sent back to you. And it has to be easy. And we try not to, you know, we try, this is a lesson for you all because Entering national shows, if you get, if it's not shipped right, they're not going to open up the box. They're going to send it right back to you. And today, before the air floats were made, uh, we used to build crates out of plywood and one by threes and foam and uh, whatever we could to secure the painting from bouncing around in it. And uh, you know, just just for a prime example. We don't want to have to open up a box, roll out. Oh gosh, where are we? We're gonna at? move this mirror out from your uh, venue. Okay, let's move. So, wait, 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 wait. Let's pull it this way. Let's pull it this way. That's great. Yeah. I pull it that way. We don't want to have to, you know, as I said, pull out pieces to a puzzle. And we primarily don't want to keep getting there and finding this. <laughs> and even dealing with these. Oh. You know, because as soon as we open them up and we see these, we're not going to mess with it. Because we've got the mess and we've got to turn around and deal with it. And this box, I'm not giving away, I'll save you. We'll put it in the dumpster. But it's an example not to be putting a painting in with all these parts. And how are we going to get this back in here? You know, you know, we're volunteers, and people at our level, our national level, they're not going to be very welcoming. Try to get this. How many of you have an air float? Are you familiar with air floats? If you, if you don't know what an air float is. Yeah. Right. Right. I haven't used this in years because of volunteer work, as in taking up time and entering national shows. So I haven't opened this up. But air floats, they can run from, let's say, a minimum of $100 to over $200. And basically, if I highly recommend purchasing them because they're very reusable. And they're secure here, big foam yeah. over top. The foam inside is cut out to fit around your painting. But it's waffle foam. Yeah. Waffle foam is similar to what you find. But I'm getting ready to show you where I get it is mattress foam, which is what I had here. This roll cost me $30. And Essence, these are wonderful because they interlock. And they, you can use these uh, <coughs> at least half a dozen times. Uh, Marion, do you, you, you ship a lot? Yep. So, 
I would say more. I've used some of them 20 times. Really. Yeah, they're they're really worth the investment. But if you're dealing just for local, statewide shows, and you get into our annual event, I would highly recommend. And they come in all sizes. Yeah, yeah. This uh, this per particular piece will handle a 32 by 40 painting. I have a bigger box <coughs> You have to think, when you're thinking about the national shows, you have to think about the X, the largest, the amount of your frame, you know, the minimum size. I think uh, transparent is 52, the national is 52, the American is 44. So you're the, the frame cannot see, it cannot exceed those two those inches. So think of buy one of these things. Think about 40, 42 for the American. Think 46 is your foam dimension size because you have to have foam on your cutout to fit around the frame. And they're very helpful with. They're very helpful with. Uh, uh, different sizes when you're ordering that. So what I'm doing? When do you order it? Uh, air float. Air float. Air float systems. Okay, so I've taken basic foam core box, 32 by 40. This spray adhesive, 29 bot, a 29 dollar bag of um, and spray adhesive, and I've opened. It. I've used my thumb, and I've, this is what happens with the foam when you spray it to the inside of the box. So I've created a whole nother box, and I am going. I've got another one here, and I'm, before I use this. This spray, we're all going to go outside and I'll put this, I'll show you how to lay the inner part of it. But here's the top to it. And you can put your painting in. And you only need a couple pieces of tape to hold it. Yeah. Well, that's not the same box. That's no, no. Yeah, you this, you got, you got, yeah. um, yeah. I don't have my tape measure on. Yeah. But this is, now you can take, you can put a 32 by, you can put a, tw a full sheet yeah. Yeah. painting in this box. Right. Okay, when you're thinking elephant sheet, consider put taking, if, if, do you have access to a frame supply store yeah. Yeah. that might have these 32 by 40 foam core boxes, whereas you can utilize this, or even bigger, put two boxes together. But what I have done, I'll show you another one. I'll show you on this other one. This is going to be a giveaway. So do you all that come in big cars or little cars? Yeah. <laughs> so it's so what I did with the other box. This is again. We're going to take this box out after I'm done showing you another. Yeah. One. So, I've taken the box, I've reinforced all the corners yeah. with the duct tape, mm -hmm. and I've reinforced the top with another layer of cardboard. cardboard. Oh. And I've reinforced the bottom so that you can reuse this again. But this is before I spray this roll of foam in here and do the cuts to make this fit so that you can Again, have another box too, but I think it's, it's just common sense. You have to have support. You have to have support around the corners. Uh, and this duct tape that I use, it, it, it works for everything. It works for everything, and it's pretty pretty conducive for just the needs of doing plywood work. But this is part of that. Now. We're, when I get, we get to this this aspect, we're all going to go outside because I don't want to do this inside here because the adhesive goes everywhere. 
Now, when shipping artwork to shows is different. Shipping artwork to shows is different to, to shipping artwork to clients. Because you really, um, clients, they're going to, they want the artwork and you want it to send it protected so that there's no damages in the transit, whether it's UPS or FedEx. And I've had, unfortunate, and I'm sure I'm not alone. Uh, damages through the, sh the shipping system where the box comes back to you and it's been run over and then frames and parts. But uh, here I have a 24 by 20 painting. And what I've done is I took another one of those foam core boxes and I cut it down to get it to make a smaller box. Use a straight edge to give me the edges here. Took some more bed waffle foam as a slip sheet. And I find you go to you go to office depot depots and uh, I, I can let's say office depot. They they sell bubble wrap and that's that little half inch size bubble wrap. Don't, I, I wouldn't bother using that. I, I highly recommend finding a company. I know Sam's Club years ago, I used to find this size bubble wrap. It's two feet by 250 feet. It's a big roll. I can get it uh, for less than $50 a roll. And um, I make bubble wrap sleeves four pieces like this and so that I can cut cardboard I cut cardboard to lay in front to protect glass or plexiglass this is glass I usually ship plexiglass, and what I'll do is put it in the bubble wrap sleeve, being an artist uh, traveling up and down 95 numerous times out of the year. <coughs> taking a body at work and trying to take 20 of these with me to an art show, I'm able to stack flatly eight to 10 of these on top of one of them because of this size bubble wrap. And uh, I've got a lot of time to kill. <laughs> Tricks up by to ask me any questions. Oh, I was just going to ask you one. Please what, go. what is the, when you put it, uh, put it in a box, how much cushioning do you Well, have? we're going to get to that. Okay. All right, because <laughs> Does you'll it matter see. the size as to how much? Um, there's not a lot of cushion here, as you see on the sides. And you see in this box here, and just think, this is a small version. This is a small version of what you can do larger. And it's very difficult for some to find this bubble wrap. And uh, you can go to a packing company. You know, my cost for these boxes are thirty dollars. I got a free box, and yeah. the the foam the foam was thirty dollars. Uh, in reference to an air float that you're going to spend uh, over a hundred dollars for, you can still reuse this. But this is different. This is this is to a client. So I'm going to do extra measures, and I have the slip. So I have room here. I have room inside here. But my concerns, you know, I've covered on the front and back. My concerns are on the side because I want to put enough cushion there. I want to put enough cushion there to so 
so it's not bouncing around. And how many have seen those those news bits on holiday season and watching FedEx and UPS <laughs> throwing the boxes over the fences? Uh, it's fragile yeah. electronics. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but you, they don't know what's in the box. Even those air floats, if you were to uh, cut a piece around, do you do it by the weight of the picture? Uh -uh. You just do it to fit inside. See the air float? So you don't have to have three inches? No, no, no. It just depends. It depends. Right. This is going to be hard to see. This mattress foam. Can you, can you see this? Yes, yes. It, yes. it has lines in it. Tear lines or cut lines. And the air, and this is at, this is just from Walmart. And you can go by these cut lines, but the airflow, their foam as well as, is so perforated that you can rip it to the, to the inner, to your inner painting that's going to fit in this. You can rip it out in perforations to fit. But I wouldn't recommend ripping it. I'd recommend trying to get a good pair of scissors and cut it. Big. But all that's from Walmart. Yeah, all that's from Walmart. Mattress. Yeah, it's uh. Well, yes. What, what everybody has to understand, whenever you ship a box through either UPS or FedEx, it goes to the distribution centers on conveyor belts. The conveyor belts are all run by arm. They push the boxes. I, you have history with. FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> a human, once it leaves the truck, a human doesn't touch it again until it gets back in a truck. So you've got to remember whatever you're shipping. It's a conveyor, systemized, computerized system where an arm bounces your box from one conveyor off to the other conveyor. So everything that you're telling you is critical. You expect it to get there. Boxes this size, Especially if you yeah, the smaller the size, they are going. You can expect a problem. Smaller? Yeah, yeah, because they can pick them up and just. Well, the conveyors generally will. Pull. Yeah, they're and then they're going to be dropped off a conveyor to the, another loading person. All right, so I'm making. What I'm doing is making a, another bubble wrap. The post office tells me to pay for a certain kind of postage and then it will not go on a conveyor belt. Well, that's Are they lying to me? That, who knows? Uh, we're lied to every day. <laughs> we're lied to, we're paying, you're paying an act. Shipping today has gotten very expensive, very expensive. Uh, compared to, well it happened after 9-11. And, uh, Girth, width, height uh, of your box, the width, the girth, the, and it's just you have to be careful on how big of a painting that you're sending because it really takes part in the cost. And see, I've got one layer here, and I'm not going to be satisfied with this. But, yeah, because you get the painting, the painting itself is going to be heavy. I'm just doing this. I would do this much better because what I do and everything reflects. I it shows off in my art. I'm pretty anal, you know. It just. Uh, I go. To I want it perfect. I go to a furniture place and I get the mirror boxes. So I figure. Uh, yes, heavy, exactly. You can find some big boxes through furniture companies. And you can cut them down. Yes, you can cut them down. Uh, and what left I left have, left. how I cut a box down is with an, a straight blade, uh, right. uh, a, a utility knife. Mm -hmm. And I've got rule, a large ruler. I've got a large ruler to give it a straight edge. You need an extra hand when cutting it and trying to fold up the cardboard. So you've got a straight fold that um, similar to the 
these folds here. Yeah. Just have a head. Yeah. That idea of the color tape is wonderful after unpacking all the paintings and it has clear tape and you can't tell where yeah. it is. Oh, well, I have, it's, I it's a highly rec I love using white duct tape. I, uh, I, the silver is, you know, we're, we're accustomed to silver duct tape, but when I started seeing the white. Where did you find that? I found this at Lowe's. Well, I think Walmart. Yeah. Well, yeah, and the packing tape, regular clear packing tape, doesn't have the adhesive to it as duct tape. Mm -mm. And it costs the same. Um, I, that was a good point. You know, you, you know where to cut. And especially with the air floats, um, you know, because they're made to open and close, and it doesn't need a lot of tape around all the edges. And um, so this is going to be my last layer. I'm kind and, of amazed because aren't you putting it in between that mattress foam too? Oh yeah. You still need that much? Oh yeah. Well, you, you you never know where your paint was going to happen. I had a I had a box. Bigger than this, um, and it was a crate. It was a crate. It was going off to the NASA. And uh, this is Laura, uh, the president, uh, Long um, Sheik. I forget her name. She, the parent, the mother. Uh, you know the. Uh, of the Nashville at the time. Right. She called me and asked me where my paint was. And I, I said, I, I don't know. I, I put it in the mail. I showed it to you, UPS. The next day later, it shows up in my house and UPS ran over the box. Oh. And Boris uh, oh. Frum. Boris Frum. Right. Uh. She, I called her back and I was. Uh, <laughs> distraught. Yeah, Needless to say, unscrewing this box and in the foam, the painting was in pieces. Oh. And plexiglass, it was, uh, I've never seen a piece of plexiglass cracked. Uh, painting. Uh, the painting was fine, but I had to do a 24 hour turn window to get it back yeah. out to the next. Uh, needless to say, UPS compensated me for it, so today I, I deal directly with FedEx. Yeah. 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 I highly recommend FedEx. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> for instance, we just purchased this mirror. Yeah. And it was delivered <clears throat> while I was in Florida. At a show, it was delivered to my house at my front door. And I have my mom in my house. I've been looking after her for nine years and she's almost 80. And she can get out the front door with this big eight foot by 10 foot box in the way. And she had neighbors come put this thing in the garage. And by the time I got home, there was a big hole in the top of the box and how it was dropped off from the, the freight truck. So I didn't pay any attention to it, so I, I decided I need to open this thing up and look at it. So I pulled it out, and one of the corners had popped out. It was, it's not what we purchased, and uh, it was certainly bent. It was certainly bent. We had to go through the rigmarole of having them come and pick it up. They said it was ground and dropped it off, but ground, the box was too big for the ground truck. Put in, and then the, it was another ordeal, so we got to be here. But I, 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 it scares me dealing with UPS. So now I've got I've got quadruple layers of tape on my corners. Quadruple layers of tape on my corners. Russell. 
Yes. Is this a package that you would be sending to a client yep. or a show? A client. A client. A client. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wouldn't do this to a, I wouldn't do this to a volunteer. Okay. <laughs> 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 because I might get one of those nasty <laughs> So I might get a nasty gram. What was I thinking? Aren't you a professional? Uh, this is for a client. And I had intentions for this before I leave. Let them know you value your painting. Pardon? It lets them know you value it. Well, and it's their it's my painting, but it's theirs as well. So you never know. I've I've shipped these out of the country. So wait, I don't want to drop it. But there's a lot of there's a lot of yeah. spring to it. Does your client always pay for shipping? Yes. Uh -huh. I, I tie that into the sale. Yeah. Um, because shipping is expensive. Uh, Shipping, you know, it probably cost me fifty to seventy dollars to ship something yeah. this size. I paid over a hundred. Going well, up. Well, that's why we have the hand delivery aspect when it comes to this event to make it more helpful for you participants to drop and contact one of our regional directors and uh, let us handle the work. And we are, our primary concern is the artwork is in a box. In a box, something like what I'm showing. Nothing with that's going to make it. And we, I brought 18 paintings over, I think, and several of those people that dropped off should be here today uh, because of the way they put these boxes together. It's, uh, it's a box. You don't have to take what I did here to all four sides of a box. We just want to get in and pull a painting out. So. I'll be lucky to get this in the box. <laughs> but when you ship to um, an art show, right? Now, if you and if you go ahead, um, you do a lot less. Yes, you do a lot less of this. And yet, they both arrive, hopefully, in good shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're in. This I, is I'm, the extra again, measure. I'm over, I'm, this is, it's actually, you, if you're shipping across the country, you want to make sure that you're doing it right. Thank you. Think common sense, less expensive, and something that you're going to reuse when you put this together. You know, done. You either utilize the process I'm showing you. Know, when we go outside, I'll show you how to spray and adhese and cut. And we'll get ready to get to that aspect. I, I have some space. This thing's this, this thing isn't really gonna move. Okay. Yeah. But I do have space here. Now what I will do is take some of this bubble wrap and make a bubble wrap donut. But the bubble wraps are inch they're inch size bubble wraps. A bubbles. My cats love them. <laughs> just... But I'll put a and I'll put a little elbow and I'll slide it in to protect it from going all idea. the way. Yeah. And because it's really not going to move that much. We think. I think it's not going to move that much. If, if, if. Uh, they're not going to throw it over a fence or throw it off the bear. <laughs> but with the support of, of the support of the, the plywood or even foam board in front of the glass, two layers of it, the bubble wrap, the layers of bubble wrap, and the additional foam, nothing should happen to that. <laughs> well, I've done that with Airflow. I bet, I bet, I've paid, to, I've shipped a sold painting in an Airflow to get the percentage back. Really? Yeah. 
And all right, so now I'm done. This is not going anywhere. No. This yeah. it's it's secure. It's not going anywhere. So I got my lips. And this package is ready to go. Yeah. So Make sure the cat wasn't still in the donut. Do what? Make sure the cat wasn't still in the donut. Oh, the cat. <laughs> There's several of them. I'm, okay. a, I'm a cat person. Uh, Do you insure? Yes, you have to insure. And FedEx, they limit you on how much you can insure for. Uh, I highly recommend. I highly recommend doing the insurance. Because there, there is those times that. And you insure it for what? Their value. If I can get into the value, sometimes I can't insure it to the value <laughs> because the value is too great. Do you ever have to claim that? Yes. And do you ever get your money back? Yes. <laughs> because uh, it seems to me there's so much proof that it was their fault. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, in my case, if there's tire tracks on the box, you know, that was pretty plain and simple. But uh, with with the beer, just recently, uh, yeah, um, that was dropped from the top of a freight truck, and because of the size of it, leaned and fell against the bed. It, it there was a big hole in the box, and it really wasn't packed right. You know, here, this is the typical box for that. But I've cut this box down to make it more manageable to carry this mirror in. But the mirror, the box was about this big, and there was room for it to move back and forth. Okay, now, that, uh, we're doing good. Can you, uh, would you all like to go out and see how I'm going to construct this thing? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do that. We're, uh, yes, Joe. Before we do, if everybody will grab the footer number, help Wes go out. It'll save him 10 trips up there. Okay, yeah, do that. Russell, okay. Are we coming back in? Yes, we'll come back in. We'll do the drawing inside because I'm not handling all these boxes. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we're going to do is go right out this door.